Now, this is the unified science and arts model for education. If the children at the moment learn different subjects, different physical skills, different mental skills, reasoning skills, you know, expression skills, and they've got no idea how this all fits together. So they're taught and become very specialised. They don't understand one another. They don't understand the whole system, the whole structure. So although they're specialists and experts in one particular aspect, their, their functioning is impaired because they haven't got the whole structure. So we need a whole structure in education that the children can understand and that we can teach um, on which everything else fits. Now, first of all, here is the structure, the ten dimensions. Ten dimensions of string theory. First thing is look at developmental psychology, the beginner's mind. When you see the ten dimensions are built on top of one another, and similarly our minds follow the same steps, the building on top of one another in the meaning and structure of mind on those ten dimensions. Now we'll see also my uh, unified science model because that would obviously incorporate all the science with different science videos that explains different scientific uses of this the artificial intelligence control system the autonomous system the unified field theory at the small level the autonomous system again this three triangle structure three triangle structure now if I begin here with the arts we'll look at the arts this triangle is a triangle of drawing the primacy of drawing of cartoons, of remembering in cartoons. Secondly, you have the audio track. That, that's the level of quantum mechanics, the video thing, but the important thing is the drawing. The, here is the relativity triangle, the audio signal, and this is about music, and uh, it's about words, so it's about drama. Drama interaction in about space and time and then we have the pressure triangle the gravity which is about the, the body the posture and its movement so it's uh, sculpture and all forms of material creativity you know like it would work arts and crafts um, drama exercise martial arts all sorts of body language, body language expression through acting. So the acting is not only in the drama, but it's also in the physical, in the in, in the postures, in the expression. So we have the drawing, the music, and and, and the and the movement, drawing, music, and movement as the basis and the development of this in terms of different aspects. For example, this grows into, into chemistry. This grows into geography. This is space identified by smell. So we then get smell mapping, particularly like with elephants, amazing uh, abilities to smell map an environment, geography. Here we have sound, so we have all sorts of sound. We have the, the sound of the voice, the intensity, the character expression in the in the drama. So as you'll see from my other videos, the different meanings of all these interconnectedness, these different functions as well in the whole, the whole, the whole thing. But as I said, the important thing is for the children to be, be taught a whole structure so they can see where everything fits in. They can see where everything fits in. The drawing with the design with the cartoon. The music with the drama. You know, with the sounds of the, you know, of the, uh, of, of the, of the,